and Dr. Mori on Civilized Vitality and this is a video about kind of like a gear review um, or a, a reassurance video for some of the people that go on the uh, events with us like we have some winter campaigns coming up and sometimes people say well that's a big list of stuff to to carry uh, on the the trip and they ask um, why do I have to have so much stuff in my pockets so I usually suggest carrying because every well not everybody but people know I carry a little fanny pack all the time got a lot of little stuff in that a uh, little purse a little bag, um, haversack, possibles bag, um, just a belt pouch, lots of ways to go. I really enjoy my Hill People Gear uh, chest rigs. This is their uh, SAR, their search and rescue version. We'll go over to the table in a minute and I'll show you the different parts. But this is what I do, especially in the winter when I'm wearing uh, a sweater and some um, snow pants with a pair of suspenders pulled up. I keep everything in my chest rig. I keep my phone in there, which is being used to film. I keep my phone in there and my eyeglasses at night and things I don't want to freeze or get damaged because I sleep in a hammock or sometimes under. I wear this because it's on my chest. That way everything is with me within reach uh, at night so I don't have to search for it. And when we're moving around during the day, I'm not constantly searching through pockets in my uh, outerwear. So this is the uh, Hill People Gear search and rescue uh, version of their chest rig. They have a smaller version. They have some runner kits, uh, chest kits, which are one or two pockets and have a lot of molly on the front uh, then they have the smaller uh, the really small version the snubby and then they have a waist pack which is basically the snubby on a, a belt make a fanny pack out of it but the chest rig system uh, looks like this it's got a couple of other little um, tabs here you can take these grim locks off all right let's say i put my backpack on over this uh, one of my hill people gear i can open up these little grim locks and attach that to the shoulder straps on my backpack to help take some of the weight off my shoulder and apply it to the backpack frame which goes down to the hip belt. This is what it looks like in the back. It's got that uh, kind of nice mesh uh, back panel so it breathes and doesn't cause me a lot of uh, issues in the hot weather or on my clothing. They have uh, some alternatives you can buy that have uh, a Molly compatible back panel so you can add some things but it's pretty good. It holds a lot of weight. I've got this thing stuffed today just for the video purposes. I got uh, this goofy pair of gloves hanging from it, from my uh, toggle cord 2.0. I just ran that through the Molly. I actually don't know where my gloves are right now. So I grabbed this pair out of the storeroom and <laughs> not sure where these came from, honestly. But it's always nice to have a good pair of leather gloves with you uh, when you're out in the woods. These don't quite fit, but I jam my hand in there. Good pair of leather gloves. So you can um, move firewood, warm your hands up, handle things in the bush. And if I don't want to be searching for them constantly or losing them, I just tag them to the front of my bag and they just hang there. You also see I've got uh, a knife on the front here. Right. I've got this on there uh, through the molly, just down through there. Let's see if I can take that uh, off. And maybe we'll take that off in a little bit. Uh, there we go. There we go. So I've just got that on this uh, molly Grimlock. Uh, no, it's not Grimlock. I'm not sure what that is. I'll look it up and put it in the, the description. But this is my uh, White River um, Backpacker Pro. There's their little logo. Great knife. Um, orange, ca orange handle scales, in case I drop it, uh, I can find it. Right? Super lightweight knife. Great knife. Really, really like it. I'll do another video on small knives and why I like about this uh, shape and size, because they're easy to carry. And I just keep that run right through some of these molly loops on my Hill People Gear chest rig. Then I just snap that. Now I've always got a knife handy. I'm not digging around at my belt line or, or inside my coat for a knife when I'm out in the winter. This is really kind of a winter setup. I've got a little, little compass on one of the zipper poles. Got this uh, labeled on the Velcro loop field in case I go down and someone knows what's in the chest rig. And then uh, just one of our new Uncivilized Vitality uh, leather patches. So we're going to get those out pretty soon. And I just stick that there. Right. So let's, uh, comes out real easy. Right, a little buckle under here, under the arm. Let that loose. The whole rig lifts off. And then I can set that down if I, if I have to take it off for some reason while I'm at camp. And uh, let's pop over the table and I'll show you more. Okay, so uh, I showed you that I can set my knife just on the front there. That way I'm not digging around in my pockets. I've got the toggle cord 2.0. I just slide that down through the molly. Right. 
and it's got uh, molly along the bottom. Uh, sometimes I'll attach a knife on the bottom, maybe I'll run it here so it's out of the way, but usually I run it right in the front where I can see it. You see you've got this uh, loop field out there where you can put any kind of identifiers or uh, like I have that med tag so people know this is mainly a med bag at the events. Here's these two extra hangers I was talking about with the grim locks. And these two little loops here so I can hang this from my uh, backpack if I'm not using the, the harness. The harness is completely removable. Okay, comes off there. It's completely removable so I could maybe use a, a shoulder sling and run this as a haversack even. And then it's got three pockets. Now this is the, the SAR I think is their biggest. The, uh, the main thing, another thing like for the winter that I like this about is in the back it has a panel where you can uh, attach, set that off camera, attach uh, a pistol. This is just a Smith & Wesson bodyguard for size comparison. It fits in there really, really well. Uh, you can carry a full size uh, pistol in here. You can carry a Glock 19. Um, I carry my uh, 43X in here a lot. I have a Smith & Wesson um, Shield, MP Shield in 45, that fits in here just fine. Uh, so you got a place for a gun and an extra mag, and then I have this little Velcro holster where you could set the whole thing in there, set that offside. It's got a little loop field here and a little tag, a little loop in the bottom in case you're just running a trigger guard with maybe on a dummy cord, right? or just configure however you want. That panel sits close to your chest. And that way, at night, I know where my pistol is in the hammock. I, I have uh, keeping that on me at all times. In the front pocket, this is where I'll throw like a little extra bit of paracord. I've got uh, some tinder and a, a lighter in here just for fire starting. I keep my headlamp in there so that at night I know where it's at or when I get to camp I can just take my headlamp out and throw it around my neck so I'm ready to roll. And then uh, I just throw my multi-tool in here. This is the Leatherman signal. This is the one I carry all the time. Uh, every day, usually in a little pouch on my belt, a little Kydex sheath on my belt. But again, I'm trying to keep everything off my belt when I'm out winter camping, so I just pull my multi-tool out and drop it right down in there. And if you can see, I don't know if we can do that, carry in. Down inside here, this large pocket, it's pretty spacious, I can get my whole hand down in there, all right? The whole length. It's got two little slip pockets right in the front. Two slip pockets right there. And we'll use my multi-tool for size comparison. You can see that that drops all the way down in there. Plenty of room. You can put your wallet. I usually drop my cell phone in the front pocket. Okay. And then there are two uh, dummy tabs, little loops. Uh, at the front, you can put a key ring through or snap a grim lock for your car keys so they don't fall out of the pocket. All right. So that's the front pocket. And then the main pocket is... Uh, in here, I keep a glow stick. Uh, I usually keep a bandana in there or a handkerchief. I have a tourniquet right in the front. And then I keep, uh, I really like this. This is the first aid kit or the med kit I carry. These are from uh, SOAR Rescue, S-O-A Rescue, SOAR Rescue. And it's their med mag. And these are, um, this is the, uh, Bleeding with hemostatic agents. It's more advanced bleeding. It's got everything you need in there. <clears throat> this is the advanced airway uh, and respiratory designed to answer uh, your, your March algorithm. And then I've got a little pill pack with it's got little kind of a boo boo bag. It's got a little acetaminophen and uh, ibuprofen, some Benadryl, just a few things. I throw all those things in there. They're really heavy duty plastic sealed in, they're waterproof. And they're, they're called med mags because they're designed to fit in your mag holder on your chest rig or anywhere else. I find that they couple real well with my Hill People gear pouch because they lay in here perfectly and they lay flat. Now I've got an entire med kit I throw an extra tourniquet in there, maybe a battle bandage or some battle wrap uh, and a glow stick. I can put a Sharpie marker there, but I really like these things. You can check them out. I've got them in my daily carry bag. I carry them out. So it's called uh, Sore Rescue or Sore Rescue. I say it like that. And here's their website, I think. All right. So. Yeah. 
So check them out. I really recommend these. They're really heavy duty. They last uh, a long time. They take a lot of abuse. I can, I can testify to that. They go out there uh, camping. You're out, out in the bush, out in the back country, in the forest. You know, and these things get tossed from bag to bag and they last a long time. And everything you need is in there and really well packaged. Um, back to the bag. So the inside of my Hill People Gear uh, SAR is just kind of represents like the front pocket. I got dummy cords on the front panel and two slip pockets, which again, for comparison purposes, a little bigger than the, even the front pocket. My, my signal multi-tool drops right in there. I can drop my entire tourniquet in there. Okay. If I wanted to, I could even carry my pistol in that little pocket, although there's no way to cover the trigger guard on this small body guard, so I wouldn't carry that in there. Right. And then on the body side panel, it's covered with that loop field and it's laser cut with one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six by six cut uh, laser panel. So you can run uh, any kind of molly you want through there. You could even, usually what I'll do is on the inside of this, on the Velcro is where I'll carry my, my spare uh, mag, magazine pouches uh, or they, they drop right there. You could run your little toggle cord 2.0 down through these. He says in theory, because he can't get his fat fingers to lace that through on the camera, but yeah, you get it. All right, so I could run my, I could run toggle cord 2.0 on the inside here and use that to lash, uh, hold things in place. I could use things that are uh, Velcro backed, right? We could take our Uncivilized Vitality sticker and put it on the inside there if we wanted to. You can take your glow stick out of the plastic and slide that down through there. So there's lots of uses, you know, you can make up as you go. Uh, you could attach your, if your slip pockets are full and you don't like that, or maybe you don't like that bulky, you can use the clip on your multi-tool to hold that. I could use this, a couple of the toggle cords to hold Maybe I could use that to hold something in place, like my tourniquet, right? I can slide that through there. So now my tourniquet's held in place. I could use the toggle cord on the outside or run some shock cord on the bottom of the Velcro and maybe keep a couple tourniquets on the bottom. But typically I like to run the outside uh, fairly smooth. You saw in the video uh, beginning, I had those gloves hanging there. I just keep them there so I don't lose them in the winter because I don't wear my gloves very often. I set them down and I lose them. So this is the SAR chest rig by Hill People Gear. It comes in different sizes, tons of different colors. Uh, it's modular. You can take the harness off and hang this from your backpack, uh, from the front, the sternum straps, and then when you get to camp, you can drop this off your backpack, reattach the harness, and then wear it around camp, which is typically what I do. I'll see if we can do this without knocking my microphone off again. Okay. Goes on that easy, just clips. Now for the rest of the camp while I'm out in the woods, um, especially at the winter camp, I don't have to search for things in my pocket or unzip layers to get it. I've got everything right there, right where I need it. Uh, got the, uh, the first aid material readily accessible for uh, any emergencies we may have, which knock on wood, uh, we won't have any. Okay. The other good thing about these rescue packs, uh, the medical, uh, the med mag packs from Soar Rescue, when I come back, if I hadn't had to open them, I know I did a, a good job. So sometimes we, we've opened them and then we just replace them. You can uh, check out their website and get those Hill People gear, check them out. I can't recommend Hill People gear enough. And this is just a, just a quick, um, I wouldn't even call it a gear review, just a gear introduction to the chest rigs and a, a video to reassure people that go with me on campaign that I've got everything we need right at my fingertips on my chest. So. I won't be searching through my pockets looking for band-aids and uh, other boo-boo things. I feel like I'm forgetting something. But anyway, that's good. Leave a comment below. Do you have any Hill People gear? Uh, do, you, do you run a different type of chest rig? Uh, the, the snubby or a fanny pack? What do you put in your chest rig? How do, you, uh, how do you configure your kit when you're going out? What do you do about not having access to pockets? Leave those in the comments below and um, send any questions you have about any of the gear in the video. And uh, that's it. Like, subscribe, share. 